Have you ever been in a situation where you had to get a task or a project completed, but you just couldn't get yourself to do the work? Now, we've all had those periods of mental and emotional slumps, but the type of self-talk that we engage in with ourselves will determine whether we ever finish that project or not. So here are some of the things that you can say to yourself when you find yourself in those mental and emotional slumps that prevent you from doing what you know you must do. The first thing that you can do is you can replace the words I have to with I get to. Now there is a very important reason for this. So many people in the world would kill to have some of the opportunities that we have access to. So if you're employed and you have the ability to be able to do meaningful work, you're really fortunate. And when we say that we have to do something, we sometimes forget how fortunate we are to have the opportunity to be able to work. The second thing is remind yourself that nothing worthwhile is ever easy. Now, I have gone through a lot of challenges myself, but the things that make me really proud are the ones that are the most challenging. Uh, and so I find that nothing worthwhile is actually easy. And when we remind ourselves that it's not supposed to be easy, it's the difficulty that actually makes the project worthwhile, then what we find is that our level of satisfaction and the level of motivation to complete the task increases. The third thing that you can do when you don't feel like doing work is to remind yourself that if you don't do it now, it's just going to pile up and the entire situation is going to get even worse. So when we remind ourselves of that, we kind of go, okay, you know what, let's just do it right now because this stuff is not going to go away and it's just going to linger and it's going to create this enormous stress for us down the track. Another thing that you can do is to enjoy the process. So break your project or task into small chunks and then reward yourself for completing those little chunks and that will create positive association because a lot of the times what happens is we become so obsessed about the accomplishment of the result that we don't even enjoy the process anymore. So creating positive associations with the process is going to make us want to do the job a lot more. And the fifth thing that you can do is to get started. Momentum creates more momentum. And a lot of the times when we're sitting in inertia, it's the perfect breeding ground for procrastination. So when you get moving, you'll find that as you start to gain momentum, it becomes easier to get further momentum. So just get started, start to do some tiny bits of work just so that you can get into that momentum.